एपिसोड ट्वेंटी एट सेकेंड मैरिज प्रीतेश वॉज ईगरली वेटिंग फॉर पंक्ति हु हैड गॉन टू मीट डॉक्टर किशन मेहरोत्रा नर्वस एंड अट्स केयर्ड प्रीतेश हेल्ड हिज वाइफ अनिताज हैंड द डोर ओपन एंड पंक्ति वॉक इन विद अ बिग स्माइल ऑन हर फेस इट मीन दैट शी हैड रियली लाइक द डॉक्टर वाह Pritesh wanted to jump with joy but god knows why he began to cry Pankti was younger to Pritesh by 3 years but the siblings were best friends to each other very few people though knew why the siblings were so close to each other and especially to their mother Neelam Pritesh and Pankti had horrible memories of their childhood Their father was an alcoholic and a compulsive wife beater. <coughs> Neelam tried her best to shelter her children from Rajesh's violence but was helpless on most occasions. She thought that with time Rajesh will improve. But that never happened. Neelam had tried everything to get Rajesh to change his ways but all failed. She had visited astrologers, pundits, counselors, motivational speakers, gurus, even Rajesh's boss at one point of time. But Rajesh continued to drink and indulge in domestic violence. Typically, his side of the family blamed Neelam for Rajesh's habits. <laughs> one day when Pritesh came back from school, he saw the living room in a mess. clothes strewn all over the vase lay broken and his bat and ball lay scattered he understood that there had been a major fight at home strange rajesh generally fought in the evenings as neelam taught at a morning college what could have happened from the bedroom he heard sofia aunty consoling neelam and the latter crying uncontrollably but 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 yahi yahi baki reh gaya tha yahi baki reh gaya tha rajesh has hurt me and the children in every possible way beatings fights irritable moods all the time okay getting angry at the smallest pretext and and, and now this this extra marital affair so 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 yeah how long can i tolerate all of this and 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 for what yaar for what pritesh was stunned to listen to this He he left a weeping Neelam with Sophia Aunty and rushed to Pankti's bus stop. He didn't want his little sister to enter the house right now. From the bus stop, he took Pankti to her favorite dabeli shop. Pankti was surprised, but she was no fool either. After the dabeli and cold drink, Pankti asked, "Bhaiya, is Papa again in a bad mood today?" Pritesh explained the situation to her slowly. Crestfallen and shaken up, the two siblings walked back home. The next few months were the most difficult ones in the lives of Neelam, Pritesh and Pankti. Neelam filed for a divorce. Rajesh's male ego was hurt and he became even more violent. <laughs> Papa, <please. laughs> three of them lived under constant threat for months together finally the divorce came through but their struggles burnt over they had to survive on one salary rajesh always found excuses to delay the money for the children's upkeep but the three of them took up the challenges head on perhaps the absence of a violent destructive and negative person helped the three to come closer Of course, Sophia aunty and her family were greatly helpful and cheered them up. Years rolled on. 
Pritesh became a web designer and started his own company. Pankti became a chartered accountant. Both the siblings found very loving life partners, bringing much joy to Neelam. Soon after her marriage, Pankti was offered a wonderful opening in Singapore, which she accepted. But the siblings now began to worry about their mother Neelam. She was 58 and would retire in a couple of years. After that, she wouldn't really have much to do. Pritesh and Pankti knew that she would not move with them. But more importantly, would they ever be able to find quality time for her all the time? They had their own lives, their own families to look after. Pritesh's young son was just two years and greatly attached to his dadi. But with time, even he would grow up and prefer friends of his age. What then? Pritesh, what Ma needs is a companion. Uh, I mean, someone who is there with her all the time. Someone she can talk to, share her problems with, show pictures of her children and grandchildren, go out on long drives with... You, you, you understand? Yes, I know, Pankti. I totally agree with you. But will Ma ever agree for this? We both know what she has been through. She hasn't forgotten that, Pankti. The scars are still there. Of course the scars would be there. It's not easy for anyone to forget all of that. Lekin Pritesh, we have to convince her, make her look forward. See, I will fly away to Singapore. You have a company to manage. Anita also works. We are all there to take care of her. <laughs> but then Ma is going to be so lonely and, and so alone. With the help of Sophia auntie, they broached the subject of second marriage to Neelam. But Neelam refused to entertain any such idea. However, Pritesh and Pankti were determined and adamant. Their mother had faced all troubles and challenges single-handedly to bring them up in the right way. So now it was their turn to think the same for their mother. As children, they did not have to just take care of her physical well-being, but also of her emotions, her need for companionship and camaraderie. One day, Pritesh and Pankti met Neelam alone in her flat. Pritesh lovingly took his mother's hands in his own and began to talk. Ma, look here. You have spent a lifetime taking care of us both. At every stage, you have been there like a rock to us. And you will agree that we have come up quite well in life, haven't we? We are always there for you, Ma, whenever you need us. But, but just listen to us for once, only once. When you were bringing us up, your entire attention was towards us, right? Our smallest needs. Kab tuition jana hai? Kaun sa tiffin kisko dena hai? When do our exams begin? What summer camp we should attend? Everything you took care of. But now we have grown up, Ma. And we can take care of ourselves. But now you will feel a lacuna, a gap. You will feel the need of a companion. Somebody to talk to on a daily basis. You have to move on, Ma. What happened in the past has happened. Forget it now. Please, please think of this proposal. Please. Neelam took a deep breath. <sighs> Kids, I do understand what you are saying. But then... This society and their questions. <laughs> Pankti reacted strongly. Bhaar mein gai society ma. And kaun si society? Did anyone from this so-called society step in to help you when you were facing violence? Did anyone confront that monster husband of yours and tell him to behave himself? Did you pay attention to this society? when you were going through the divorce? Nay, na? 
तो अब क्यों डरना है भाई प्लस माँ टेल मी इफ मी और प्रीतेश वुड हैव बीन गोइंग थ्रू समथिंग लाइक दिस वुडंट यू हैव आज डांस टू मूव ऑन and look for another companion another soulmate neelam really had no answer to this argument pritesh and pankti and their spouses now plunged into looking for a partner for neelam kishan mehrotra was a 62 years old practicing doctor who had lost his wife a decade back and children had migrated to the us he too needed a companion pritesh met him and liked him immensely So it was Pankti's turn today to meet Dr. Kishan Mehrotra. Sophia Aunty couldn't stop smiling as it were the children now who had looked for a life partner for their mother. The ceremony for the second marriage was solemnized the next month in the presence of the children of both parents and of course some close friends. <laughs>